Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Xero with HubSpot. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account at Xero.com or log in to our existing account. Once we do that, uh, once we do that, uh, you'll discover the fact that we won't be able to make this integration through Xero straight away, so we will need help of third-party app. Uh, let's try and let's use automate.io. Uh, I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. Once we are here, we want to go to the top left, uh, top corner of our screen, hover over integrations or click on integrations and uh, move over to bottom left part and see all categories. Now we can search for 200 and more apps, but we want to start with Xero. Once the Xero is integrated, we want to start and write down HubSpot like this. Straight away, there's some uh, popular integration already pre-made it, pre it uh, for us by Automate. But if you won't be able to find the integration here, just keep scrolling down so you can create your own integration. Just remember, on the bottom, uh, on the left part underneath the triggers, you want to start with Xero, so keep scrolling down and pick Xero. I'm going with the first option just to show you how it's done. Underneath, uh, on the opposite side, underneath the actions, you actually want to go and start with a HubSpot. So once again, I'm going with the first option. Uh, now we hit the Try it Now button, which will get redirected, and we get asked to log in uh, to log into our account. At automate.io, and we are basically done with this uh, integration. We can also use zapier.com. Uh, we also need to create an account here. It's basically uh, the same stuff that uh, it works like at automate. So let's go to the top right corner, top left corner of our screen, and click on create zap. We also need to start with uh, set up a trigger. So the trigger will, will start with Xero. A trigger event, once again, we have to, I'm going uh, with the first one, so continue. Now we have to log into the account in Xero, like this, continue. Uh, set up a trigger, it's organization that I created in this dashboard, so it's mstone and uh, yeah, let's go with all, continue and now we can test the trigger second action, as you probably thought it's HubSpot also we have to go and create an action event continue and the last thing is we have to sign in to, to HubSpot to make it work. So thanks for watching and see you on the next video.